guys, we're gonna cook up another Dutch oven meal tonight. Um, on the menu is chicken corn chowder. All right guys, the first thing is to cook bacon. Um, it calls for eight pieces of bacon. I think we have 10. All right, the bacon's all done here, so we're gonna take the bacon out and then we're gonna add the chicken and cook that a little bit before we move on to the next step. Mmm, bacon. All right, guys, we're gonna add a pound of chicken that we cut up into a bunch of pieces. We're gonna cook this till it's done, and I'm gonna throw some salt and pepper on there also for taste. You also leave the bacon grease in there. Just like that. We're gonna let that cook for a little bit until that's done, and then we'll set that off to the side also. All right, our chicken's all done. We're gonna scoop this out of the Dutch oven and then we're going to saute our onions, garlic, and pepper. And how many of those do we have of each? It is a cup and a half of red pepper, a cup of sweet onion, and four garlic cloves. Okay, and we're gonna saw that up, saute that up, and then we're gonna add our flour mixture in. And how much flour? Uh, one third cup of flour. One third cup of flour. So we'll get to that right after we get this chicken out. And in goes the red peppers. I have the onion and garlic in one thing there. The onion and the garlic. Saute that stuff up there. Then we'll add our flour in. All right, we started another batch of briquettes because we got to cook this for an hour after we saute everything. So we're adding the flour in right now. Just stir that around in there. It helps thicken the soup. Oh yeah. Gonna add in six cups chicken broth. And the potatoes also. And then we bring it to a boil. How many potatoes? Two large potatoes. Two large potatoes cut up. All right. All right, we got a boil going, so we're gonna add our corn. We got two cans of corn we're adding. And then it calls for a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. Okay. And then we're gonna throw the chicken back in there and some more pepper, some crushed red peppers, and um, two bay leaves. And then we're gonna bring it, let it boil, cook the um, potatoes until they're done. We're gonna remove it from the heat, add the bacon, and should be able to enjoy. All right, another look, add the chicken. We had to get some more briquettes going. It's kind of cold, so it's uh, taking a while to warm up. But we'll get it done get here. bay leaves in there. I'm gonna stir it and uh, put the lid back on. All right. All right, guys. All right, everyone, once again, it's dark out and we're finishing up here, but uh, we just finished, got done cooking it. And just adding the bacon in now. It's gonna be pretty hot, so we're gonna let it cool down, and we'll let you know probably in the darkness how well it tastes. So, see you guys in a bit. All right, uh, we Kristen's gonna let it go. She's sitting in the only spot where I can get enough light here in the cabin right now. But it smells really good. Mm. Can you even taste it yet, or is it too hot to taste? No, You're melting your taste buds. No, it's good. I just got a piece of bacon, which was good. The chicken was good. The potatoes are done. There's good flavor. I will probably have four bowls tonight. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, there you have it, guys. Another recipe to try out if you like chicken corn chowder. Mm -hmm. See you guys. Bye.